Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a public announcement about the Corona tax relief and the economic impact payment check that the government is sending out. So you need to know if you need to do anything in order to get this money. You may or may not have to do anything. If you already filed your 2018 or 2019 tax return, you don't have to do anything. The IRS would calculate your eligibility and they will send you the payment if you qualify. Either 2018 or 2019, if you filed, you don't have to do anything. However, if you did not file your 2019 if you did not file your 2019, you should file for 2019. And the reason is this. Maybe your adjusted gross income did not qualify you under 2018, but you may be qualified under 2019. So what you need to do, you need to e-file with a tax professional or get TurboTax or some other software. You can free file as long as your adjusted gross income is less than 69000 at the IRS website and make sure you do direct deposit. So this way it's You'll get your money much faster. Now, this recording is for the people who are not required to file. So this is non-filers. So remember, if you are required to file, then you file. Now, I'm going to tell you who's, in, who's, who's required and who's not. So if you are required to file, you cannot use this website. You have to use those resources, either a tax professional, free file on the IRS, or do it, do it yourself, basically, you know, TurboTax. So let's click on non-filers, enter payment information here, and you will know if you need to file or not file or if you are eligible. So click here. So first, who is eligible for the economic impact payment? You have to have a valid social security. You cannot be claimed as a dependent on another taxpayer. So listen to me carefully. Most college students, here's what's, here's what's happening, and this is the kind of the disadvantage or the, uh, the bad thing about this economic uh, payment is college students. They are oftentimes, most of the time, they are dependents of their parents. And guess what happened? They are dependent of their parents, therefore they don't qualify for the payment, and they are above the age of 17, they don't get the $500. So this group kind of, they really got left out. But, you know, this is what Congress decided, there's nothing we can do about this. So ask your parent, am I a dependent on your tax return? And they would know if you are a dependent or not a dependent. If they don't know, ask them to ask the, the, their tax advisor or their CPA if they claimed you. If they did not claim you, that's excellent news for you. It means you are not a dependent, therefore you qualify. You qualify as, in quote, independent, since you are not dependent. There's no such thing as independent. You will have to file your own return. If you are not required, this is where this website will help you. You want to tell the IRS that you exist, you are not a dependent, send me the money. And you have to have an adjusted gross income under a certain limit. If you're making too much money, you would have to file. You would still be eligible for the payment, but you would have to file. In other words, here's the limit. If you are a single individual and you make less than 12200 for 2019, you don't have to file. But if you make more than 12200 you have to file. Therefore, you cannot use this, this site. This site is for non-notice. It's non-filers. So if you if you don't have to file, if, it, if it's a married filing jointly, it's 24400 For 2018, the number is 12000 For 2018, if you, are, if you are not a dependent and made less than 12000 you don't have to file. You just have to fill out this form I'm going to be showing you in a moment. Okay? So... Uh, you, so in other words, you cannot be a dependent, and you, uh, if you're making too much money, you have to file. You would still get your money as long as be, as long as you made your adjusted gross income below seventy five. You would still get the full amount. If it's above seventy five, but below ninety nine, you'll get some money. Above ninety nine, you don't get anything. Now, for married filing jointly, the limit will start at one fifty, and it will phase out, I believe, at two hundred thousand. But you could, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I, I don't know the phase out for married, but I believe it is two hundred thousand. So who, who is required or who should fill out this non-filer forms? Okay. Well, if you fill out your 2018 or 2019, you don't need this form. The IRS will have your information. If you receive social security, disability, or survivor benefit, you don't have to fill out this form. Oh, even though you did not file your income tax return. For this group of people, the IRS will have your information and they will compute your payment and they will send it to you. Individual who receive ra railroad retirement benefit also don't have to use the service because also the IRS will have your information. So who should use this non-filer status? Well, eligible U.S. citizen or permanent resident who had gross income that did not exceed 12200 for 2019 or 12000 for 2018 if you are single, 
24,400 for married couple for 2019 and only 24,000 for 2018 were not otherwise required to file if you are required you cannot use this form so this form only for the people who are not required to file and did not file and are not dependent okay so how do you fill out this form what do you need well you need your full name current mail and address email address date of birth valid social security let me walk you through the form it's pretty simple it's very straightforward form i'm surprised that the irs will have such a simple form so let's go ahead and click on enter enter payment here click on get started and basically you first you have to create an account so you have to put an email address user id phone number and a password and confirm the password after you create your email after you sorry after you create this account the first thing you need to do is go to your email address and confirm your email so if your email is not confirmed you cannot complete the application so go ahead and confirm your email i'm going to create an account then i'm going to show you what you're going to see next so after you create an account so i created this account m4 hat 777 and i have an, my email address i just uh, my email address i click on continue and here's the form well the form you have to tell the irs whether you are single or married then you have to fill out your name your social security your address if you are married you have to put your spouse's name if you have dependent you'll add the dependent here here they ask you someone can claim you if the answer is yes you as a dependent automatically you don't qualify they stop you don't you don't have to fill out this form then you have to put your banking information let me fill out the form um, just basically and show you what it looks like filled out for a single individual so basically this is what i did i put my name my social security an address um I, I'm, I'm you know i am filling this as a single um route routing and account information click on checking you click on the next step so this is page two on page two it's personal verification they will ask you about your either your adjusted gross income for 2018 or the five digit selected signature pin if you have one and if you did not have to file if you were not required to file you'll put under the taxpayer adjusted gross income is zero you will need to put your uh, the the day that you are signing for it's april today is the 11th 2020 your cell number you put your cell number here five 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 one two one two it doesn't matter um your you, you can choose a five digit five five pin numbers don't choose zeros or one two three four five two three four five six um your date of birth oh one oh one nineteen you know seventy seven um uh, now you need to put your state id either either state id or driver's license for identity purposes notice here they said my email has not been confirmed continue to e-file and you go to the go to the next step so this is basically it's a pretty straightforward form i'm pretty surprised that it's that straightforward and once you once you have an account you can check your e-file status to make sure it's everything is good and you'll have an email now remember do not go to the site from anywhere else except the irs so when you start this process go to irs.gov because a lot of people nowadays are trying to get your information social security date of birth they would love to collect this information for identity theft anyhow if you're if you're a college students please subscribe to my youtube channel study hard good luck and stay safe during those coronavirus days good luck